So moving forward, what we need to do is start our animation. Okay, so we're gonna do this pretty quickly. All right, so pause and stop if you need to. So here's the animation tab in the upper right corner. I wanna click on my spinner, all right? And I've got that animate there. So I'm gonna hit add an effect. I'm gonna make it appear, all right? Then I'm also gonna to move to the action tab and I'm gonna add an effect and I wanna move it. So here's my move tab. I'm gonna move my ghost over to the other side. So this is the original position. There's my ghost. And then if I look at that line, there's a little white dot. I can make that move. I can add more dots if I want it to have a funky shape. So that's my path, a flight path for my spinner. And now I'm gonna add one more action. It's going to be a rotate because spinner spin. So I wanna tell that to rotate counterclockwise and I'm gonna tell it to do that for three seconds and I want it to have 500 rotations and I'll leave that angle just as it is. All right, and then I wanna have a build out. So we're just gonna make it disappear. Okay, so now that I've got my actions in there, I wanna tell it to play around with my build order. So I'm gonna hit build order and the first one is on click, that's fine. All right, my next one, I want it to come in after build one. So it automates this process. And then the next one, I want it to be with build two because I want these two, I want it to fly and spin at the same time. And then the last one, I don't want that to be on click, I want that to be after build three. If I hit preview, it should fly and spin. Hooray. After you've got that all done, it's just an export to QuickTime and give it a high resolution so it works a little bit better and put that on your desktop.